there has never been a shortage of exemplary black photographers in the world. Notable names that come to mind include Gordon Parks, James Van Der Zee, Carrie Mae Weems, and Ernest Withers, among many others. However, one talented photographer who isn't quite a household name, but still held in high regard, is Alan Eugene Cole. Friends and family call him Allie. Cole was born in West Virginia in 1883 and moved to Cincinnati before he and his wife Tilly migrated to Cleveland in 1917. He worked at the Cleveland Athletic Club as a waiter. Through his work ethic and previous experience as a porter, he was eventually promoted to head waiter. The promotion would prove to be a turning point in Cole's life. One of the patrons that Cole met while working at the club was Joseph Opet, an Englishman who managed the Frank Moore Photographic Studio. Opet offered Cole, who already had an interest in photography, an apprenticeship in exchange for custodial work at the studio. A year into the apprenticeship, Cole started offering photography services out of his home in 1918, while still continuing to work and apprentice at the studio. Although clearly on his way, Cole was unsure how successful he would be, so he decided to extend his apprenticeship for six years. During that time, he also found a partner by the name of Charles Horton, creating the Cole Horton Partnership in 1920. The partnership lasted a few years before eventually dissolving. By 1922, Cole had added a studio to his photographic service offerings, and as he expanded his services, Cole wanted to expand his business as well. Cole asked for a leave of absence to focus more on his photography during the holiday season, but he was denied. He then gave up his head waiter position, becoming a regular waiter. Eventually, Cole will leave the Cleveland Athletic Club altogether to become a full-time photographer. In 1924, Allie and Tilly moved into a home on Cedar Avenue that was both a larger living quarters and offered way more studio space for the Coles to operate and prosper in for the rest of their lives. Alan Cole's business slogan was, somewhere, somebody wants your photograph. The majority of his work was in studio portraiture, but Cole's photography extended far beyond the walls of Cedar Avenue. Cole's photographs ran the gamut of businesses, to local dignitaries, to births and funerals, to various groups of all ages and social backgrounds, including fraternities and sororities, conventions, and even local sports teams. Cole also worked with the Column Post newspaper as a freelancer, and having his photographs in the paper almost always generated greater sales, as Cole had emerged as the predominant black photographer in the area. In addition to his photography, Ali was also active in the community's civil rights efforts through his work with the Future Outlook League and subsequently the Progressive Business Alliance. Cole continued to work into his 70s until his health took a turn for the worst. He died on February 6, 1970, at the age of 83. Over the course of his career, Alan Eugene Cole is said to have produced over 50,000 photographs of people and places in the African-American community of Cleveland, Ohio, and he is certainly an individual who deserves to be mentioned in the same breath with the greats. Thank you.